Rain. I doubt even you would be able to read the stars in this weather, Ramon. Stars are neither for reading nor seeing, Your Majesty. Those who rely solely on their eyes will overlook what is of true import. Then how is it done? By closing your eyes? If it serves, yes. But if you listen closely, you can hear it. The whispering song of the stars. What do the stars sing of? Blood and ruin. A song that will illuminate the world in radiant light at the end of it all. Blood and ruin? Must be the ever-growing menace the monsters damn us with. And a radiant light at the end of it all, you say? How oh, interesting. Could mean wealth, and maybe glory. Monsters are not the only beings capable of bringing about blood and ruin. Could it be that a great war is on the horizon? It may be just so, your majesty. A war with Fenis. Fenis is not alone in targeting our homeland. The great houses of Horn and Wazette also share our borders. That may be so, but we harbor no ill will toward Horn or Wazette. For the time being, should that balance be destroyed, what then would come to pass? Havoc would run through our humble nation. More monsters! Cut them down, Mont! <sighs> yes, Father!
that carrot. Opportune timing. Your Majesty, they wear the armor of Horn. What is a carriage from Horn doing in Leona's territory? They must have crossed our border while being pursued by bandits. That is not out of the realm of possibility. It matters not. Let us seize this opportunity to win Horn's favor. So, the King of Leonis graces us with his presence. You failed to distinguish between friend and foe? Silence! I'll cut you all down at once. And who is this witch? Lilith, commander of Leonus's infantry. Kayla. Chutzelt, first sword of Solidus, Horn's royal guard. Oh, I've heard a thing or two about you. The reckless first sword, am I right? As have I about you, Blaze of the Battlefield. You certainly look the part. And if you don't watch your tongue when addressing His Majesty, I'll be sure to burn you to nothing but ashes. Amusing, aren't we? Shall I befoul the fallen rain with your blood? Enough. <sighs> but, Lady Mashiri... Did he say Marshery? Well, if it isn't the Princess of Horn herself. She's the beautiful Steel Maiden? It seems this is Leona's territory. We apologize for the trouble caused. Pay it no mind. It is fortunate that Leonis and Horn are not on hostile terms. <sighs> it would be our pleasure to have you as honored guests. You have my deepest gratitude. Lot, take care not to embarrass yourself in front of a proper lady. <laughs> I won't! Mont, where have I heard that name before? Now, to make these bandits regret setting foot in my kingdom.